Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Boy. Man, it cut up, boy. The Lord cleansed the earth pretty good today. You know what I'm talking about? He did his thing. Ain't nothing like getting the air cleared for a clear path. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up. Lord, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people tonight? Ooh. What we got going on? What we got going on? We are Kings, First Kings, eighteen, and it is Look like solid five. It's Kings 20. Well, we in 19. Look like 17, 18 joint. You already know how we do it. We do it to it. No. Hey, get it. it. Says, and Ahab said unto Obadiah. Go into the land unto the fountains of water and unto the, all the brooks. Pre-adventure, pre we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive that we lose not all the beasts because if you don't you don't feed and nurture your tools see the bible is a tool and by me reading these scriptures i'm feeding it into the universe you know this is put on record that Hey, like I said, it, uh, I was talking to a uh, professor, and uh, I said one thing about this thing they call the Adam Catman. When we enunciate some of these beings here that's in these Bibles, we play the notes to the angels to the key of life. That's how we communicate with them. You know, through keeping the word in us and, and putting it out of us into the universe. That's called ministering. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm, I'm just administrating. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up. Run that joint. Says, so they divided the land between them to pass through it. <clears throat> Excuse me, pass through it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Abadiah went another way by himself. So you know, the earth is round, right? You got some people you're sitting there talking about some, oh no, it's flat, and all oh, this and that, and the third. Well, I want to see you go from one side and see if you don't pop up on the other. You know what I'm talking about? So they met in the middle, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's like I tell my wife. My, my, I say, meet me in the middle, baby. You know what I'm saying? Just meet me in the middle. You know what I'm saying? I, whoo, I love that woman. We compliment each other well. I know she sound proper. I, and I'm all country sounding, you know what I'm saying? But it's not all about that. It's about the mind, the spirit, the heart, the intention. You know what I'm talking about? And I have nothing but good intentions towards this woman. And I know she got the same for me. Despite what people say. You know, like I said, and I, I, I put this word out. Like probably about a, a month ago, 
they tried to come with another wave of smear campaign. They, they, they put me involved in it this time because the first time when I first saw it, you know, I told them, I said, leave her alone. You know what I'm saying? She has a heart. Her heart is involved in this because I asked her to marry me. You know, and people, nosy people, people that love to see gossip, drama, all that craziness, you know, they wanted to jump in and join the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, they, one minute, oh yeah, she's the queen of this, and then, you know what I'm saying? She's this and that, and you know what I'm saying? The utmost respect. Them same people turned around and jumped on the bandwagon, but I never changed. That's my baby. I love that woman. So, yeah, I'm going to stand up for her. Yeah, I'm going to stand up for me. You know what I'm talking about? And I know she do the same thing. It's a back and forth thing, so that means our energy's matching. This is a perfect match. You know what I'm talking about? Straight up, plus what God showed both of us. You know, and I'm just like, you know, have your way, Lord. Have it. Have your way. Because those same people is catching judgment and karma. And they, some of them are like oblivious to what they have done. So they just taking it out on the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Getting mad at him and doing all kind of craziness, you know what I'm saying? Trying to redeem themselves and all that stuff. You know, taking it out on themselves. Taking it out on other people. And it's just a bunch of chaos and drama that they started themselves. Y'all started that. So now, I see another one. And these joints be coming up out the woodwork. I don't know these joints neither. But I'm going to tell you this joint. Back up. Loose her. Mind your business if you ain't helping. Because that's what it's about. We're supposed to be trying to help guide people towards Jesus Christ. Not sit up here and try to play judge. Because we all have an opinion. And my opinion of you may not mean nothing to you. But like I said, I stand, I stand my ground. If this this woman is gonna be my wife, I had no other choice. I defend my home. I stand my ground. And you don't know me. And you obviously don't know her. You just trying to get five minutes of fame by looking at somebody else and trying to point out their flaws. You ain't said nothing about you. Now, when you get up there and you start talking about you, you ain't even going to be worried about nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? This is authentic or nothing. You know what I'm talking about? See how I grab my scriptures up out of here. I don't fool with no hoodoo or voodoo or nothing. I don't fool with nobody that do. I run them joints off. You best believe that. Because it ain't of God. Gonna get on up out of here. Cause that ain't of God. For you to smite your neighbor. You sitting around smoking. You steaming up under the collar like, like you ain't got a life to live. And you just want to take it out on somebody else that's trying to live their life. Trying to judge them, trying to control them with your own thoughts. Well, you should be doing this and you should be doing that. What you should be doing? You know what I'm talking about? Because it's all right to give advice. Like I've been saying, it's all right to give advice. But take your own words, too. Really be obedient to the Lord. You know, you should know that he don't, he don't smile at that. 
he actually frowns upon that. You know what I'm talking about? And I, like I said, I know she don't mean nobody no harm, and I don't mean nobody no harm. We just doing what, what God called for us to do, to try to spread love and light. I had a joint jump up and say, oh, you really know her? Mind your business joint. You know what I'm talking about? Our thing has been written way before we even knew. God had to mold us to be who we are. So we'll fit each other. We working on our deal. I done did my first part. She done did her. She doing her second part. I'm doing mine. Everything is fine. I'm cool with that. Other people that ain't cool with that because they want to see. They want to finish the story off before we can even get to it. That's why they keep getting readings on us. That phone bug. That, that's how I found out in the first place. I happened to stumble upon a conversation and it was about me. And then they mentioned her and then I looked for her for a long time. But didn't know how God designed this. She a little bit younger than me. And at that time when I heard about it, that timing wasn't right. She was too young for me then when I heard about this. But I thank God that he crossed our paths. When she found out, she came at me, she found me. I was chilling. Not actually chilling, I was going through some things. I ain't even gonna lie, I was going through some things. I was trying to get free from, from 20 years of imprisonment pretty much. Not knowing that that person was doing voodoo on me. Then somebody that did it on her too. You know, these was people that we trusted. That made us put up guards hard. And now we finally get a chance at happiness. And here comes somebody want to come talk about some, what they want to talk about in somebody else's business. Somebody else's life. They ain't speaking on their own stuff, but they trying to grab hold to somebody else's ankles. So they can come up. That's all that that's about. They trying to get some views. They trying to get a YouTube check. Get you one. Not off somebody else. Not like that. There's ways that you can do that. And network. And, and come up. But you coming evilly. But you calling somebody else evil. You calling somebody else crazy. Because we know what the what we know. God hit us with downloads. He hit you with them too. You block them off with the devil. That seemed more exciting, more important to you. Got me out here preaching. Lord, let me get it to him. You know what I'm talking about? Give him this word and get on up out this joint. says, And it shall come to pass that him that escapeth the sword of Hazel shall Jehu slay and him that escapeth from the sword of Jehu shall Elijah slay yet I have left me seven thousand in Israel all the knives all, all on the knees Woo, he took them down and said on the knives Listen, he left them all on the knees you know what I'm talking about? Begging for mercy. Which have not bowed unto Babylon. And every mouth which have not kissed him. 
running it. So he departed thence and found Elijah, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen before him. He out there mining it business. And he with twelve, he with the twelve, and Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle upon him. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me, I pray thee, kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow thee. And he said unto him, Go back again. For what have I done to thee? Who running it? And he returned back from him and took a yoke of oxen and slew them and boiled their flesh with the instruments of the oxen. And gave it unto the people, and they did eat. Then he arose and went after Elijah and ministered unto him. Thou shalt not kill. So if you're thinking about hurting somebody because you're jealous, think about hurting somebody because you think you could take something from them. You don't want to see a person happy that bad to where you want to take somebody out. You need to be ministered to. I'm praying for you. I know she praying for you. <laughs> it's the joint that said they put a buck fifty on me. You know what she did? She broke down on her knees. She kept on praying. She started praying in tongues. My baby said, not on my watch. I'm talking about. That's how I know I married this woman. So what do you think? I ain't going to do the same thing for her? I pray heavily. It's doing a little long. I don't know when it's going to hit, but it's going to hit. But this is authentic or nothing. And I'll holler at y'all in the mountain. Might take two days, man. I ain't getting no signal out there, Joy. Woo, this is authentic or nothing. Later on.